Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to join a Windows 7 operating system to an Active Directory, Directory Services, domain. Now it's important to note that you must have a business version of Windows 7 in order to join it to a domain. So you can use either Windows 7 Professional or Windows 7 Ultimate or Windows 7 Enterprise as your operating system version to join it to an Active Directory domain. So we've got BK-CL1. This is Windows 7 Enterprise. And here is a Windows Server 2008 R2 server that is running Active Directory Directory Services and we have a domain that's named Contoso.com and inside of my computer's container in the domain you'll see there is one computer in there bk-cl2 we're going to take care of that and add bk-cl1 into the domain you can either go to the domain controller and right click and create a new computer and add the computer name here and click next and that's called pre-staging or you can do it from the actual operating system itself, the client computer, which is what I'm going to do today. So if I click on the Start button and go into Control Panel, and inside of the Control Panel, if I choose System and Security, and then choose System, I'll end up with some operating system uh, basic information. In the bottom right corner, I've got Change Settings. If I click on Change Settings, you'll see that this is associated with Computer Name and Work Group. If I click on Change Settings, I can go ahead and click the Change button. And here I'm going to move the bullet from Work Group up into Domain. And from Domain, I'm going to type in Contoso, which is the name of the Active Directory domain that I'd like BK-CL1 to join. I'll click on OK and now I need to provide domain credentials that have the appropriate permissions to add a computer account into my Active Directory domain. For demonstration reasons I'm using the domain administrator user account which is not a best practice in the real world but for demonstration reasons that will have to do today. So right now what's happening is my computer is locating an Active Directory domain controller and it is creating a computer account in the Active Directory domain for BK-CL1. And when this is done, it's going to tell me that I need to reboot my computer, which we're going to do. So we'll wait. Here we go. Welcome to the Contoso domain. Click OK you must restart your computer to apply these changes. OK. So we'll close this information and we will restart now. So my Windows 7 operating system is restarting. I'll come back to you when the restart is complete. Welcome back. BK-CL1 is done restarting and now I would like to log into it. So I need to press Control alt delete to log on. And the initial logon screen believes that I'm logging on to BK-CL1, which is the computer account using the BK-CL1 username. And that's not what we want to do. We now want to log into the computer using an Active Directory domain user account and domain credentials. So we'll click the Switch User button. And we're going to click on Other User and in the username I'm going to type on Contoso. I don't want it to say BK-CL1 indicating the local computer. I want to type in Contoso which indicates we're logging onto the Contoso domain. I'll type my username and then I'll type a password and we'll log in. So while we're logging into Windows 7 for the first time let's go check out the Active Directory domain controller So I'm on the domain controller and I'm still in the computer's container which is the default location for computer accounts when they're joined to the domain and if we click on refresh you'll now see that BK-CL1 and BK-CL2 are present in our Active Directory Directory services. 
going back to Windows 7, if I click on the Start button, go to Control Panel, go into System and Security, check out System, and look at my basic information, you'll now see that Workgroup is gone and Contoso.com is present. And that concludes this demonstration of how to join a Windows 7 computer to an Active Directory domain. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thanks for watching.